Uh, hello out there to uh, everyone in Mrs. Van Oyen's class. Uh, my name is Tristan. I'm Taylor's dad. And uh, I was supposed to come in today because, as you guys all know, happy St. Patrick's Day. Um, I was supposed to come in and uh, talk to you guys a little bit about traditional Irish music and play a little bit of, uh, play a few tunes for you guys. So um, I've been playing traditional Irish music for about 15 years now, um, something that I love to do. Um, I started when I was living in Chicago and I spent a lot of time in Ireland. Um, I imagine some of you guys probably have been there, some of you might know a little bit about Ireland. Um, so I'm going to talk first about this instrument that I've got here, this crazy little contraption. Um, I'm sure most of you have probably seen or heard bagpipes before um, and maybe even heard them on St. Patrick's Day. But as you might know, the bagpipes that most people are familiar with are generally more of a Scottish instrument. They're called the Great Highland Pipes. Um, but there's actually hundreds of different types of bagpipes in the world. Almost every country has their own type of pipes. And uh, this instrument that I've got here is the Irish Pipes. They're, um, historically, they were called Union Pipes, but uh, these days they're generally called Illan Pipes. Illan being the Irish word for elbow. Because as you're gonna see, rather than blowing into the bag to inflate it, I'm going to be using both of my arms and elbows. Um, this is, I've got a set of bellows here. If any of you have a fireplace at home, it's very similar to the bellows that you might use to um, fan the flames in your fireplace. That's connected with a hose that blows up this bag. Um, and then I squeeze the bag to get air into the rest of the instrument. Um, so this part of the Instrument's called the chanter. It's where I play the melody. It's sort of similar to the recorders you guys are learning to play in some ways. And then the rest of this um, is, is a couple of different pipes here. Some of them are the drones that just give a solid um, chord. And then these lovers are called regulators. Um, so this instrument will be used for um, all sorts of different music in Ireland, but uh, a lot of it mostly would be the dance music, jigs, reels, um, slip jigs, and uh, horn pipes, and all sorts of other things. So I'm gonna. Start by putting the instrument back together because it just started to fall apart on me. It happens. Um, we're only doing one take, so. <laughs> um, I'm going to start with, I'm going to start with a simple jig. Um, I'm going to send this one out to all the horse girls in Mrs. Van Oyen's class because this one's called Saddle the Pony. I was going to say. I've already talked about the instrument some. Let me just uh, maybe play a few more tunes for you and um, hopefully at some point I will get to come in and do this in front of the class live and if you guys have any questions um, I'd be happy to answer them but in the meanwhile um, if you want to send them along to Mrs. Van Ryan, not that I want to put any more work on her plate but um, I will try my best if she can get any questions here and I'm happy to answer them. Um, so I'm going to play I'm going to play a march, a little bit slower piece called 
the eagle's whistle. you here um, play a quick tune on the tin whistle too. Um, this is another instrument that I play and it's actually what most people would start on if they want to learn to play the pipes. Tin whistle is actually very similar to your recorders. Um, what am I going to play? How about a, um, a simple reel called the Silver Spear? about it. I want to wish all you guys a very happy and safe St. Patrick's Day. As they say in Ireland, slancha, which as some of you may know means cheers, but the literal translation, true more than ever now, means to your health. Take care and uh, best of luck to all of you guys and we'll uh, hope to see you soon. <laughs>